Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Rupp, and if you watched my last video, we went through together on making this model in our SolarWorks tutorial. So, this is our next step for making a drawing from the part that we just modeled. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, if you're already at this location, great. If not, go ahead and open up your SolarWorks and get this part on the screen, and we will proceed to making this drawing. So I'm going to click next. This is going to what it's going to be look like when we're done. And on the options on standard toolbar. So up here, if I click it, it kind of shows me where it's at. I'm going to go into my options tabs on SIFT system options. I'm going to come down here to my drawings. And then under drawings, I'm going to go to display style. So I'm going to click on that. And it says, under Tangent Edges, select Removed to hide transitional edges between rounded or fillet faces, then click OK. So I'm going to come over here to Tangent Edges. I'm going to select Removed, and then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click File and make a drawing from the part. So up here, I'm going to click File, make a drawing from the part. And then it's going to come up with this. Now, here's where you just got to be careful on where we click at. We take our time. In the sheet, okay, I have all these templates. I'm going to select a drawing and click OK. But I'm only going to use a certain one. So, clear, only show, standard format. And we're going to grab the top one. And then we're going to click OK. So in here, I have all my drawing. I'm going to click on Tools, which is up here. I'm going to go down to Options. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to Document Properties, which is up here on the tab. I'm going to come down to Detailing. So in Detailing, under the Auto Insert on the View Creation, which is going to be right here, I'm going to clear center mark holes and I'm going to click it. So now that I've clicked that, I'm going to click OK. I can turn it back on later if I need to. So right here it has a little symbol and this is where that's at. So I'm going to clear the auto start project by deselecting right here. Once I click on that, I'm going to drag the top view into the drawing area, right about there. Kind of make it look like it is down here. In the Property Manager, under Display Style, I'm going to click Hidden Lines Removed. So I'm going to click on that one right there, so there's no more hidden lines. Then I'm going to click OK. So here's my basic drawing, so we're going to create a section view. So section view, which I click right here, is right up here. And there's a bunch of options we have here, so we're going to be careful on what we click on. In the property manager under cutting line, we're going to go on to vertical. Now most times it's going to be selected for me. But then I'm going to come here, I'm going to click auto start. I'm going to move my pointer to the center of my part, and I'm going to click. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to drop it. Once I drop it, you'll notice that it doesn't look like the screen here. That's because I have to flip the direction. Under cutting line, I'm going to flip the direction. If you'll notice, my arrows show which way the cut is going. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'll click creating a detailed line. So this is just another view. It's right up here. We're going to click on this. I'm going to move my cursor about right there. And I'm going to click and hold until I have that right there. And when I let go of it, it's going to make my additional view right here. Now, if you don't like the size of it, we can fix that one second. I'm going to drop it right there. And if I wanted to, I could click here and I could move in and out to make it just right. If I wanted to look just to scale. And then once I have it, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit Save. And then this is a drawing, so I'm going to save it as the same thing, Part 1, or you could rename it. 
and then I'm going to go next into creating an isometric view. So in model view, so if I wasn't sure where that was at, I could click on it. And I'm going to go to part assembly to insert. Click on the part, which it doesn't say pressure plate. Mine says part. I do apologize. But I am going to click next. And then under the orientation, click isometric. So I'm looking for that symbol right there. When I click on it, I'm going to come down here to shaded with lines. Or this says shaded with no edges. And then I'm going to, under scale, use custom scale. So I scroll down, custom scale, and I'm going to have it set to 1.2, which is kind of what it was already set to. So now, when I move my pointer into view, I have a place for my part to go to. I'm going to click one time to place it there. And then I, if I want to move it, I can click my blue lines and drag it wherever I want it to go. But I'm going to put it right there and then I'm just going to simply hit OK. So now we're going to add some center line markings. These are going to be very helpful. Okay, So we're going to go to center markings. It changed to my annotation. So again, I was on my drawing. It switched me to the annotation tab and I'm going to go to center marking. In the top view, I'm going to click on the outside of the tall boss, which is right here. And if you'll notice, in the graphics area, it has that center marking. On this symbol that just popped up right here in the graphics view to do all the other holes. So just by clicking once and then very carefully clicking twice, you can see that it is right there in our graphics view. So that's very helpful. So I'm going to click OK. So let's click on Next. Now I'm going to do the center line, which is right next to center mark. So I'm going to click on it, and it wants me to click on these two lines right here. So I'm going to click on one, two to make a center line. Now keep in mind, I'm still in the center line marking. So it wants me to repeat for this hole and this hole. So I'm going to click right here. See how as soon as I click on the two lines, it's going to create a center mark. Very good. Now I'll hit OK. And I'll go to Placing Dimensions. So under Options, on the Standard Toolbar, which is up here, on the Document Properties, I'm going to go into Units. Under Unit System, I'm going to select MMGS. So Unit System, MM. GS. That will make sure everything comes out correctly when I start scaling and start putting my dimensions. So like I said at the very beginning of my last video, this, if it's not right, is where we change it right here. Now I'm going to select OK. I'm going to go back to Smart Dimensioning, which is right here in the top left. And now we're going to start grabbing several of these dimensions, starting with the overall dimension. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to drop it. And then I'm going to do the same with my other one. So I'll grab my center, bring it up here. I'll grab the smaller hole, put it right there. And then I'll grab the big hole, and I'll put it right here. That's actually not the big hole. That is the boss, this tower right here. And so I have all four of these in place. Now, I'm not going to dimension anything. I'm just pulling the dimension of what it is and putting it onto the drawing. So now I'm going to place the detail dimension. So I'm going to come over here, and I need to know the thickness. So to do it, Smart Dimension is still selected. I'm going to select this piece right here, and then I'm going to I have to zoom up. But I'm going to zoom up and select that one right there for 7. Select the bottom and the top, and notice how it has multiple areas I can snap to. I have the top right there. And then I'm going to grab my radius right here. And if you can't click on it, you can zoom up as close as you want to get that move. And then I can zoom back out to put it where it needs to be. And then I can click on that again to put me where I need to be. So next, we'll go to modifying the text. So I'm going to select the 27 boss right here. Notice how the six times. We're going to indicate. When I click on it, 
I'm going to come click up here. Now remember, I can move my cursor around, but it wants us at the front. And I'm going to hit 6x. So if you'll notice on my screen here, I'm going to click and drag it a little bit so I can see it. It puts six times that diameter. And then it wants me to put on the next one right here on the 25 that it's going to be through. So as I click on it, You'll notice that it highlights it and changes. So that is going to say through at the end. And if you want to, you can caps lock it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click OK. And then that completes your drawing. The only thing I want to do now to make it look just like these, we're going to modify these to where it doesn't have the zero on it. And all I'm going to do, and I'll hit back under per, under uh, Tolerance Precision, make the unit precision set to non. So very easy. We're just going to click on it, set to non, click on it, set to non, click on it, set to non already. And just like that, we are completed. So even if you do miss a step, the cool thing about SOLIDWORKS is you can come right back to it. And at this point in time, it's, it's whatever you want to do to personalize it. So congratulations on finishing this tutorial, and I hope this helps. Thank you again for watching. My name is Aaron Rowe.